What's up guys, I'm Ovo here and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an intro for absolutely free, not in one, two, or three ways, but in five different ways. Now if you guys did like this video and want to see more videos like this, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I have another video coming out in a couple of days. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first way we're going to be making an intro online is through a website called Panzoid. Now before I begin, just keep in mind, I'm not going to be going super in depth with each method, but if you guys want to know more about how to make an intro through each method I mentioned, I will be linking a separate tutorial down below in the description. Now Panzoid is easily one of my favorite options that I'm going to be mentioning because it's free. It's easy to use, it's online, but the best part is a lot of people upload templates online to the Panzoid website, so you have a lot of variety to choose from when it comes to picking your own intro. There's a lot of really cool 3D ones with a lot of effects, and you'll find something you really like, and all you have to do is go through the template pages and find a template you like, click on it, and the editor is on the left side and all you have to do is find out where the text is and you can type in your own text and then download the intro and it becomes your intro. You can also change the particles, the music, the colors, even the effects if you're that advanced, but it's one of the best options for someone who's looking for something very customizable. I'm going to keep number two short and it's because I've made a video on it and I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen it, but the second way you can make an intro for free is through a software called Blender. Blender is basically like a 3D software and it is absolutely free. And what you can do is you can download the software and then you can find a lot of templates online and you can just download them. Just look up free Blender templates and there's literally hundreds of thousands of videos on these templates. You download them, you open them up in Blender, you go to the text tool and you just change the text. It's as easy as that. I have a detailed video on Blender in the description. You can check it out. But yeah, Blender is a great option if you wanna use an actual software. Now, if you wanna make an intro that is 2D and it's very professional and clean, then there aren't a lot of options out there that are online that are free. But one thing you can do is download Sony Vegas and download the trial and then use a Sony Vegas intro template to actually edit the intro in Sony Vegas. Now, of course, this isn't technically free, but if you do download the trial, you won't be paying anything and you can still make your intro for the two weeks or however long you have the trial. And using Sony Vegas is very simple. As you can see, I'm just editing this intro template and I'm just changing the text and it's already changed. And then I can go ahead and just go to file and render as and render the video. Just copy the render settings I'm using to upload it in 1080p and then your intro will be done. Now, if you guys are looking for intro templates, a really good YouTube channel or website is called Velocity. They have a lot of free Vegas templates you can use and make a ton of different intros from. But yeah, that's the third option, Sony Vegas. Now, so far, you guys can tell there's a trend going on. We've been finding different websites and softwares to use. And then we've been using different templates and editing them to make our own intros. Now, say you want something completely customizable that's also free and easy to do. Now, the fourth option, you're going to laugh at me, but you can also use Movie Maker to make your own intros. Yes, Movie Maker, because it is free and you can actually find templates online. But if you don't want to find a template, it's really easy to make your own Movie Maker intro. All you have to do is go to a website that has looping background videos and find a background you like for your intro. You download it you put it into Movie Maker, and then you can add whatever transitions you want, like a fade or something. And then after you find your background, you just have to find some free music or any music you like that's non-copyrighted. And you can use a ton of different YouTube channels to do that. But once you find some music you like, just go ahead and download it and add it to your uh, video. And then you have to make sure it just syncs up with your intro background. And then make sure you add a fade in and a fade out to the music as well. And the final thing you have to do is just type up some text add whatever effects you want on it, then format it so it actually is animated. And once you do that, you have your free Movie Maker intro and all you have to do is save it and export it as well. And it isn't that hard. Now, of course, it's not gonna give you the best intro, but it's free and you made it from scratch, which is pretty cool. Now, the final option is one of my least favorite options and that's why it's at the end, but it's using the free version of a website called FlixPress. Now, FlixPress itself is a good website with the free version of the intro maker limits you a lot because you can only use certain templates you can only edit them a certain amount of times and they'll only be available to download for one day and once you download them they do have a watermark now if you really do like the templates they have then by all means go for it but i think the other options are better but this is the fifth and final option you can use if you really want to but that's about it for this video guys if you did enjoy it be sure to give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching my name is iovo and i'm signing out